So Mandy, I know you've been out into the Gulf and, and done some research. Um, you brought back some findings. What do you want the public to know that um, perhaps you think they don't know right now? I think there's been a lot of uh, disagreement between the federal government and academic scientists. And some of that is legal issues with the NERDA. Um, but I think what people need to know is that the impact of the spill is going to take years to decades to be fully understood. It seems to me that people, there's no oil on the surface, so therefore it's gone and it's not a problem. And that's really just not the case. It, 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 it is there in places, and it is still a problem. And it's going to be a problem in some place for a very long time. Do you think there are any major implications on public health that are not being addressed based on your findings? Well, based on my findings, no, but I think that's something that is now getting a lot more attention and has gained traction um, than it did even during the, the height of the spill, and I don't quite understand why there's this time disconnect. So I, I think there are going to be human health impacts. I think they're going to cascade and propagate and, and be, become apparent over time. Um, I don't necessarily, I'm not surprised that there weren't more you know, immediate human health impacts. And I think there have been. I mean, crabbers have, and, and fishermen have, have talked about you know, skin lesions and things like that. So I, I, I think there are issues that are out there that have been you know, maybe taken seriously and maybe not taken seriously. But over time, these people are going to be taken seriously because I suspect that you know, a lot of people have been exposed to things that, that they weren't aware of because you know, the dispersant in the water, the oil in the water, when you get dispersed oil in the water, it can look clean and be blue and beautiful on the surface. And, and there could be all kinds of stuff floating around you know, deeper in the water. So it, 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 it's, really, it's really dicey to say what exposure is and, um, and, and, and what, what the human health impacts will be. And I, I think they, they're potentially you know, going to be significant. I, it, it's, it's hard to imagine how they couldn't be significant given the number of people that were out there working on the water um, without you know, respirators, etc. Are you optimistic about what's happening here today at the symposium? Actually, I am very optimistic. I, I was one of the few people that believed in advance that people would be frank and that they wouldn't hold any punches uh, back. And, and I think you've heard some really frank assessments of, of what could have gone better and what wasn't so great and and whatnot. Um, and I think we're in for more in the roundtable discussion. But but yeah, I, I think you know this needed to happen in June.